good morning students in the topic of wave theory we are discussing the interference of light in this interference we already discussed about the Young's double slit experiment in that maxima condition for the path difference is d centimeter equal to n lambda what is the distance from the center to the fringe nth fringe uh, second bright third bright like that if you have taken means that n is equal to the bright number zero we don't take here zero is a central fringe always uh, for the bright fringes central fringe is not there for the dark fringes therefore for dark fringe we take n equal to one to three onwards only not zero so for the number n fifth dark fifth bright means directly can take it as a five times beta i repeat d sin theta equal to n lambda but uh, sin theta is approximately equal to tan theta for theta is very small angles if you have taken sin theta is equal to theta can be taken as approximately sin tan theta tan theta for small angles which is nothing but equal to y by d in the diagram opposite by just that d is the distance of the screen from the slits so sin theta wherever is there it can replace with the tan theta is also replaced with the y by capital d and y becomes equal to n into lambda d by d lambda d by d is nothing but equal to fringe width beta so y is nothing but equal to n beta we can take this for the bright fringes beta by formula is nothing but equal to lambda d by d more lambda more beta automatically more y they may ask you the distance distance between the seventh bright means beta seventh and beta fourth what is the distance between the fourth fringe width and seventh fringe width means you just have to take a y7 minus a y4 y7 minus y4 beta 7 beta 4 difference they will ask you what is the distance between those two here this is n times beta minus 4 times beta difference you have to take is equals to the distance between the two any fringes we can get what is the maximum number of the bright fringes they will ask you maximum number of bright fringes visible here on the screen these uh, when theta is sin theta is value is 90 degrees that means this is very close to the slits the capital D is very small when the screen is very close to the slit then theta increases and becomes equal to 9 degrees theta values upper theta down theta we are discussing here only one side both sides we need to consider from the screen top and bottom top n fringes are formed means bottom also n fringes are formed these are five fringes it also five center also we need to consider here so total becomes equal to this n plus n plus one you have to calculate total 2n plus one when theta is 90 you will get the maximum conditions so from here sin 90 is one so d equal to n lambda you will get when theta is 90 sin theta equal to 1 then you go for the maximum number of the fringes n becomes equal to d by d so d by lambda maximum number of the bright fringes is nothing but equal to 2n plus 1 that is the center plus both sides condition is both sides is 2n one side is n other side is n total is 2n both sides plus central bright fringe is 1 this is the total number of bright fringes they will ask you means for bright fringes you need to consider like this same kind similarly if you take for the dark fringes for dark fringes path difference is equals to d sin theta equal to 2n minus 1 into lambda by 2 what is the n values we take here is n equal to 1 2 3 don't take 0 here here we can take n equal to 0 1 2 3 etc n equal to 0 1 2 3 but when you are considering the number of the fringes if you are considering means no need to consider the 0 you have to take a 1 2 3 4 onwards only we need to consider next is here also if you want to take the second bright uh, second dark third dark first dark like that no you have to take n equal to 1 2 3 onwards this is the first dark second dark first order not it is not order once there is number directly you can take third dark like that then sin theta is equal to y by tan theta y by d 2n minus 1 lambda by 2 from this you will get the dark fringe height from the central fringe on the screen e is equal to n minus 1 into beta by 2 but they don't give some uh, this symbol y directly in the problems only they will give the height as x x nth fringe they will give you x of fifth fringe x of seventh fringe they will give you like this i am giving for the vertical height as y but they take this as a x axis this as a y axis or z axis they will take it as a z axis also sometimes don't bother about it i am giving it as a height as y compare in this way so y becomes equal to 2n minus 1 into lambda d by d by 2 that means beta by 2 into 2n minus 1 you will get n is equals to 1 to 3 4 for the odd number of the fringes next is for the how many the maximum dark fringes are formed means you have to take theta is equals to 90 degrees when theta is 90 sin 90 is equals to 1 number of fringes will be get equal to 2n you have to find out top n bottom n total is 2n plus 1 don't take because for the bright fringe only you have the central extra but uh, for dark fringe center is not there 2 n equal to dn by d 2 d by lambda plus 1 considering the both sides next is if you take the Young's double slit experiment inside the liquid water you kept or some other oils you kept the refractive index of the liquid is more than that of the air air is one refractive index of the vacuum is one air is approximately one 1.30 some number comes but uh, we take approximately equal to one refractive index determines by what amount the light speed will be reduced in that medium 
and how much it can deviate from the initial directions. The speed of light, this is a speed relationship. Speed of light in the liquid to the type area is inversely related to the refractive index. More refractive index, less velocity. Mu, this is actually 1. This is nothing but equal to 1 by mu air by mu liquid, which is equal to 1 by mu liquid. This is the formula we have. And velocity decreases, wavelength also decreases because V equal to F lambda. Frequency F is constant always. Frequency depends on the nature of the source only because source not changing, light coming from where only the medium is changing in which the light is traveling. In that medium, velocity changes, lambda changes, but frequency always remains a constant. F is constant. So in this case, velocity changes, lambda changes with the refractive index. V equal to F lambda means V decreases means lambda also decreases. V increases means lambda also increases. In the rarer medium, refractive index is less. In denser medium, refractive index is more. Called as optical denser, optical rarer mediums. The glass, water, etc. refractive index is more than 1. Called as absolute refractive index. So, mu uh, air is approximately equal to 1. Velocity in the liquid equal to velocity in the air by mu liquid by cross multiplication get. Velocity in the air is also approximately equal to C. That is 3 into the power of 8 meter per second. But, but for this problem, we just know that beta fringe width beta is equal to lambda d by d so lambda decreases means beta also decreases by mu times d and d constants for the given arrangement of the apparatus so beta liquid is equal to beta air by mu liquid lambda also sometimes they will give us lambda use this lambda liquid equal to lambda air by mu of the liquids next is they will ask you percentage changes percentage change in the fringe width percentage change in the fringe width is nothing but equal to change in the fringe width by by initial fringe width that is in the air into 100 percentage. So beta air minus beta liquid by beta air into 100 percent you have to take. And if you take the white light, white light if you put it, uh, you are using the Wang's level experiment, then what happens is the central fringe is uh, white always. Central fringe is white, remaining all colored such that uh, violet, this point is also important, violet is toward the center, red is away from the center. So why? Because beta is equals to beta is equals to lambda d by d one thing second thing is y if you take any one terms of this y relation also y is equal to n beta so y is proportional to lambda that means this beta is proportional to lambda and y is also proportional to lambda y is the distance from the center to the given point so the y increases me lambda increase means y also increase therefore the lambda red lambda red is greater than lambda violet or lambda blue therefore that uh, red is away from the center compared to that of violet. So we have to work out the problems based on the this these uh, formulas. Next problems, textbook problems, uh, CET metal problems. In Young's double experiment, red light has a wavelength lambda r equal to 7 pi to the power of 500 centimeters. That means in this experiment, you are using only red light as an incident light that is monochromatic. Single wavelength means you are using a monochromatic. Then you will get the red band as a bright band and dark band, black, no colors. Condition is that both slits should have the equal intensity. So if equal intensity is not there, what happens? If the equal intensity, equal width of the slits, if you are taken means equal amplitude we have to imagine, equal intensity you have to imagine, then the bright light is full bright, dark band is completely dark. What if the slits have, don't have the equal width means not equal intensity, not equal amplitude you have to take. In that case, sir, bright band is not fully bright, dark band is not fully dark, some light will be distributed in between. So we get to get the best interference pattern, we must take uh, the slit width equal. That means amplitudes are equal, and intensity is also equal then uh, maximum intensity 4 times i1 or i0 each one is i0 you taken means the intensity is maximum at the bright band and zero at the dark bands that is possible one two amplitudes are the equal in values so we are imagining like that only always Young's double experiment means we are taking the slit width equal so Young's double experiment red light you are using means that we are having the wavelength given blue light wavelength is also given to you 
and uh, it is told that uh, when you are taking the different uh, wavelengths uh, red light has the more wavelength so more in the given length you will find the less number of the fringes for the red because the width is more beta is proportional to lambda more lambda more fringes bigger fringes within the height uh, will cover less numbers but if you take the lambda is less uh, beta is less uh, then small small fringes means beta is less means small small fringes more number you can fit into the given length why so coinciding means in the sense when you are telling that two colors have the fringes coinciding means that y1 is equals to y2 or y red is equals to y blue here. So here the condition for this coincidence is bright fringes only are told. So n1 lambda n1 equal to n2 lambda equal to condition. First one color, first number, second color, set number. So here blue and red given. So n red lambda red is equals to n blue into lambda blue. What is told is n plus 1 the blue is coinciding with the nth red. So here nth red, n is red and lambda red is supposed to be equal to for blue what they told is n plus 1 to blue so this is going to be n plus 1 into lambda blue we have to take so this nr is uh, nothing but equal to n you are asked to find out what is the value of n so n into the lambda red is 7.8 into the power of minus centimeters given which is also equal to n plus 1 this is for the blue into n plus 5.2 into the power of minus centimeters centimeters units will be cancelled no need to take 10 to the power of minus n also cancels 7.8 into n is equals to 5.5 n plus 1 into 5.2 expand this further and you will get the expression for n is equals to 5.2 by 2.6 which is equals to 2 that means second red is coinciding with the 2 plus 1 means the third blue colloid Next question is 20th question. Two light waves of amplitudes 3 is to 1. Intensity ratio of the maximum and minimum interference is two waves have amplitude amplitude ratio 2 is to 1. Two light waves have uh, the amplitude ratio three is to two. Sorry, three is to two. Find the ratio of maximum and minimum intensities. Ratio of maximum and minimum intensities. You are given a one by a two equal to three by two. A one by a two is equal to three by two. And intensity if you want to find out no i1 and i2 i1 is proportional to a1 square i2 is proportional to a2 square so i1 by 2 becomes equal to a1 by a2 whole square 9 by 4 you will get individual intensities but you are not asked that individual intensity you asked a maximum minimum intensities what is the formula for maximum intensities ratio is i maximum by i minimum e is equals to a1 plus a2 by a1 minus a2 whole square When this part ratio is not visible, directly you can take A1 is 3, A2 is 2 also we can take, otherwise you can take here LCM, A1 by A2 plus 1, here also A1 by A2 plus 1 also we can take and substitution of these two values you can take, otherwise you can take directly, let A1 is 3, A2 is 2, substitute the values here, 3 plus 2 by 3 minus 2, which is square, 5 by 1 square which is equals to 25 ratio 1. We can also take the other way. This also can be taken as a1 by a2 plus 1. This is a1 by a2 minus 1 square square. LCM if you take no, a2 to cancels in the denominators. After taking LCM, you will get the same expression. So here also we can take direct substitution of 3 by 2 plus 1, 3 by 2 minus 1. Or else directly you can take like this also. The answer is 25 ratio 1. Remaining problems, uh, some of them I am giving to you back. Uh. 
next is 33 33 fringe width changes from 0.3 millimeters to 0.36 millimeters fringe width changes from 0.3 millimeters to 0.36 millimeters when the screen is moved by 20 centimeters when screen is moved by 20 centimeters away from slits away from the slits this problem some of them important even for theory exams away from the slits separated by that means slit separation separated by 1.8 millimeters find the wavelength find wavelength lambda repeat fringe width changes from 0.3 millimeters to 0.36 mm when screen is moved by 20 centimeters by not 2 2 means final value by means difference in the values by 20 centimeters away from the slits means increased towards slits means decreased separate by 1.8 millimeters fridge slit separation is 1.8 millimeters find the wavelength uh, lambda we have the formula for the fringe width the beta is equals to lambda d by d fringe width beta is equals to lambda d by d here in this case this is a d small d capital d is not given but the difference in the value is given and beta changes are also given this beta to beta 1 d increased when d increases beta also increases that means this is beta 2 this is a beta 1 we can take this as a change in values delta beta is equals to lambda into delta d by d is the relation delta beta is nothing but equal to beta 2 minus beta 1 delta d is nothing but equal to d2 minus d1 change in values what is the change in value delta beta is equals to is 0.36 minus 0.3 which is equals to 0.06 millimeters converted to meters 0.06 into the power of minus 3 meters and delta d equal to 20 centimeters converted to meters 20 into 10 to the power of minus 2 meters and lambda small d is also given for you is equals to 1.8 millimeters 1.8 into 10 to the power of minus 3 meters lambda equal to how much lambda is nothing but equal to delta beta into d by delta d delta beta is equals to 0.06 into 10 to the power of minus 3 by into small d is 1.8 into 10 to the power of minus 3 by delta d is 20 into 10 to the power of minus 2 This is going to be 10 to the power of minus 1, 2, 3 is a 10 to the power of minus 6 is going to be minus 1, 2, 9 is a you can take this is going to be 6, 54 into 10 to the power of minus 6 minus 7 minus 8 minus 9 into 10 to the power of minus 1 take it to no plus 1 it becomes 
54 into 10 to the power of minus 8 meters. Check up the value, last value once. Okay, this is uh, converting into angstroms, answer is in terms of angstroms. 5400 into 10 to the power of minus 10 meters or 5400 angstroms. That is the answer for you. Next. Uh, Thirty eighth question. Thirty eighth question. N current sources each of intensity I1 are superposed at a point. The intensity of the point is I0 interfering so that the intensity is I1 at the maximum. If N sources are coherent, first taken is incoherent, next taken is coherent sources. The maximum intensity is I2. What is I1 by I2? Thirty-eight. N incoherent sources, the intensity is for N incoherent, not coherent, it is a incoherent, together one word it is. N incoherent sources, each of intensity I not superpose means mixed to give resultant intensity I1 incoherent waves two different light sources are always incoherent you are taken in the house 100 watt bulb and 200 watt bulbs 300 watt bulbs that is that is going to be the number each bulb separate separate bulbs you have taken not the same waves from the same bulb waves are coming from the different bulb means they are supposed to be incoherent all five bulbs in the room are on then what is the total intensity in the room will be equal to each intensity bulb is i naught then total intensity becomes equal to n into i naught only so in this case i1 intensity the resultant intensity is supposed to be equal to n into i1 it is not a coherent waves next is the uh, second case you are taking the coherent waves if n sources are coherent, the resultant intensity is I2. For n coherent sources, the resultant is I2. Find I1 by I2. If it is the current source of the intensity formula, we have to take that to what we discussed in the previous class. I didn't write it on the board now. For, uh, for N incoherent sources, I0 is each intensity. Total E is nothing but equal to I1 equal to N into I0. But for coherent sources, for N, Coherent sources. For x level six minute, we take the two coherent sources. What is the intensity we have got is intensity that is the maximum. Please, coherent sources you have to be careful. You will get the maximum minimas. But uh, in coherent waves, there is no maximum minima. You will get only brightness spreading out all throughout. Even for the x level six minute, if one slit is closed, they will ask you what happens to the intensities. Total intensity at the maxima is equals to four times i naught. This i maximum equal to what we take is four times i naught for the x level six minute. This is at the maximum and minima is nothing but equal to 0 
i minima equal to 0 i maximum is 4 times i naught what is 4 times i naught we can write is nothing but equal to this can write as n square into i naught n is number of slits number of slits or sources we can take current sources we are talking this is for current sources so number of slits means number of current sources you are taking then n square we are taking n is equals to 2 so we got the term as this n equal to 2 for yds experiment therefore n square equal to 4 times i naught we have taken already so you are taking this uh, just number n is given means 3 4 5 like that if you are taking the slits of all or core enter then that you get a 4 you have taken means 4 square enter i naught is the maximum intensity minimum intensity is 0 condition is that a1 is equals to a2 all are i naught i1 is equals to i2 equal to i naught all intents are equal values each intensity is i naught so you'll get answer for n current sources maximum intensity equal to n square into i naught and minimum intensity is zero but you are asked to compare only the maximum intensities this is given is equals to is equals to given as i2 and you are asked to find out i1 by i2 what is i1 by i2 i1 is n into i naught by i2 is equals to n square by i naught get cancelled which is equals to 1 by n our ratio asked is i1 by i2 only not i2 by i1 that you have to check up and one more problem is there in that uh, adjacent to this you are given the light bulbs uh, sources s1 and s2 they are like a lateral triangle you can take or equilateral triangle equilateral or not uh, that is symmetrical triangle if you have taken these two sides are equivalent length should be there that means the distance from the screen is the sources s1 and s2 to the given point must be the same distance at this distance what is the intensity each intensity is i naught i naught automatically the path difference is zero here so you will get the maximum same distance path here also same distance means the distance difference is the path difference path difference is zero that means you will get the maximum interest here that how much is intensity here is four times i naught they will get the value of the power wattage intensity is nothing but equal to intensity of the light is nothing but equal to energy by time into area for the given area we are taking the power only this energy by time is power by area they will mention in terms of the powers so bulb bulb power they mention here because the distance is same here area distance also considering same uh, area means for the radius the distance is equal for here spherical here also spherical points so for the source bulb we have taken 100 watt bulb here also 100 watt bulb what is the intensity here is 4 times 100 watt bulb that means 400 watt intensity you will find at this distance for the current sources for current sources 4 times but if it is incoherent sources just i naught plus i naught is equal to 2 times i naught you will get the distance is not too far please it is a small distance because the distance increases means intensity decreases as the inversely is proportional to the distance Labeling problems I am leaving to you and in the metal some hints are also I will provide for the near the problems the next part we will discuss is a diffraction diffraction or a diffraction they call formulas I would write and one more thing related to this white light white light when you, what you are getting is when you are using the white light in the interference pattern central fringe is white remaining colors are colored where you find this case generally in the daily life is and the soap bubble soap bubble thickness is very less so bubble thickness is very very less when it is very less just before breakdown thickness is very less uh, light coming from the top surface reflected bottom also reflected these two interfere the top surface exercise is source s1 and this is s2 and this interference pattern will form the colors but white light is coming from the sunlight so in different colors you will see it even the dvdc also dvd case is different uh, and uh, the web the spider web the spider web cases is also related to the diffraction colors will be there and interference pattern is the soap bubble or oil layer on the water surface we will see the colors that is because the interference very small thickness you have to take this thickness is nothing but equal to formula d this is d similar to the thickness of this soap film we compare with the d way to take and where we use the interference for this thin films thin films term we are going to use is for the glasses for the binoculars or telescopes microscopes lenses should avoid the coloring for that purpose the light may interfere on the surfaces so to in these cases uh, the light the surface of this glass is uh, coated so that the light which is falling on this uh, 
will form the due to the reflection water is coming out will be in diff, district interference should take place for that particular thickness and refractive of the metal is important that uh, in details not required for us but the thing is in this uh, white light if you are using colors are observed here but what about the district interference uh, district interference also takes place but on, not for the complete band only particular wavelength will be missing in that the particular wavelength missing wavelength they will ask you that is important relationship missing wavelength is calculated from this relation exactly opposite slit they will say opposite slit means this is a d so this distance becomes equal to d by 2 d by 2 d by 2 at the distance equal to d by 2 wherever y is there that you have to replace with the d by 2 wherever y is there no it replace with the d by 2 and you will get the relation required for us the y becomes equal to opposite to slits opposite to slits y is equals to d by 2 then at that point what is the missing wavelength they will ask you the possibility is that missing wavelength corresponds to the different wavelengths they will ask you related to this equation so this d by d white light we are using then colors are observed but some wavelengths are missing in that not complete band so what you get is d by d into y is equals to 2n minus 1 into lambda by 2 this y is d by d so this becomes equal to d by d into d by 2 y is equals d by 2 equal to 2n minus 1 into lambda by 2 this uh, by 2 by 2 cancels we have to calculate for the missing wavelength lambda so lambda is equals to d square by lambda is equals to d square by n minus 1 into d is the formula if you take n is equals to 1 the missing wavelength becomes equal to lambdas missing wavelength this is called as a missing wavelength missing wavelength is because of the district interference lambda values is d square by d square by n equal to sorry one minute 2n minus 1 in there so it is 2n minus 1 n equal to 1 if you take no 2 minus 1 into d 2 minus 1 is 1 so d square by d next uh, n equal to 2 4 minus 1 is 3 d square by 3d next uh, 3 you take third wave with missing mean case if you have taken means this is going to be 3 to the 6 minus 1 is 5 d square by 5d odd multiples of the capital d in the denominator this listing they will ask you you have to verify they don't ask for theory exam they ask only for the complete exam this problem next part of where to discuss is diffraction 